Stay wired. Post tech update today. We're going to revisit a top notch call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that you absolutely need to hear. If you haven't heard next week, a software update will turn Apple AirPods Pros into hearing aids for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. But will people want to wear Apple AirPods all day? I'm Kim Commando for Simply Safe. Visit simplysafekim.com to save 50% on a new system. There's no safe like Simply Safe. You could spend $8,000 or more on hearing aids. The latest generation actually disappears into your ear entirely. It's the size of a coffee bean. Nothing is visible on the outside. AirPods are another story. When someone's wearing them, it can give the impression that they're purposely tuning you out. I have no doubt, though, for many, these AirPods will be a godsend. They're affordable, they can be used as hearing aids or headphones, and tunable for a person's specific hearing loss. The big question is this. How will people be treated in public and at work wearing Apple AirPod Pros all day long? And speaking of Apple, you can win a brand new iPhone 16 Pro right now at winfromkim.com. Hey there, tech lovers and wannabes. Want to stay ahead of the game? You've got to check out my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So many people are loving my new and improved channel. For starters, we've got fresh how-to videos every week, like how to block those super annoying political text messages, let important calls through even in do not disturb mode, and oh boy, watch out for sneaky QR codes that can actually brick your phone. It doesn't stop there. Join me for Kim Commando today, a fun podcast where we break down the latest tech news and trends. It's like talking tech with a friend, minus all the boring stuff. You'll get the latest tips and tricks to keep you in the know and have a little fun while doing it. Plus, who doesn't love being the tech-savvy one in the crowd? So head to youtube.com slash Kim Commando, hit subscribe, and make sure you never miss a new video or podcast. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. And when you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. With a K, of course. And I'll see you on the video. Okay, coming up next, a call that you're definitely going to want to hear because I bet you learned something new. Uh, Jack in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Hey there, Jack. Well, not quite Scranton, but Wellersburg. You got it. Well, Jack, thanks for being here. What's going on? Uh, not much. I have a question about uh, some of these streaming devices. Uh, you know, the basic ones are the uh, the Roku and the Fire Stick and stuff like that. But a more advanced one is like it's called a, a VC box, and, and it's got like hundreds of channels, particularly local channels and all. And it's got lots of movies and stuff like that access to and I'm curious as to, I mean, they sell it on Amazon. Are there any drawbacks to getting a box like this? Um, these are basically what's called a Cody box. Now, Cody is legal. It's a media player. And it can be used to access pirated content, which is illegal. Okay. Right, and these right. boxes have been around forever and they advertise, you know, free streaming of HBO and regional national sports and local channels through heat servers and, uh, you know, Netflix and whatever, whatever they can get their hands on and all the latest right. movies. Um, the, basically what you're doing is you're, you are being a pirate matey, um, <laughs> And normally it's a, right now, I think this one's coming from a Chinese company that's distributing this. Uh, some of these movies are being recorded on handheld devices. Sometimes uh, you may get malware on your home network mm, um, I didn't know that. because it is pirated content. Uh, and just because right. they're sold on Amazon or Walmart or eBay or whatever, you know, uh, doesn't mean that they're legal. It's, they are 100% illegal. And typically what happens is that one box comes out and then uh, they get shut down after maybe six months or 12 months in business. And then they right. pop back up with another brand, another name, whatever it may be, but it's basically the same box. And so it's like whack-a-mole. So you may, you may get the box and it may work for a little bit. Uh, is it gonna work for the long haul? No, uh, I wouldn't get one, Jack. And I don't recommend that anybody else does. Uh, just stay away. And I know that streaming is expensive. And if you're looking for ways to cut the cable and not spend a ton of money on streaming services, well, there are ways to do that. We've got lists of free places that you can get legitimate content, including your local library. And a lot of people are like, the local library? What is that about? Yes, uh, they offer digital subscriptions. You've also got uh, places like Crackle and UB. And then don't forget, there are other services that you just have to watch and you'll see some ads. 
Uh, and then you can just get free trials for the services that you do want to see. But we've got tons of information about all that great stuff on the website, Jack. So just say no, just say no. And thanks for your call. Big virtual hug for listening. Now, if you want your questions tackled, head to commando.com and find that link that says email Kim. Yes, sirree. Every single note you send me becomes my must read. Hey, be the tech guru among all your friends and fam. Sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.